Oh, let's take a look at some of the commands that you can use with nano editor so if you have yet to install nano you can go to nano-editor.org to download GNU nano okay so in link called get nano you can click on that and here you have to click on all versions so as to see this FTP link where you can choose win32 and you can download this nano kit exe released in 2017 pretty old i know but that's the only version that you can use for windows okay so that being said to use nano we are going to basically using command prompt to call nano okay so what i've done is i have used this exe and i have moved that exe to a directory okay so this div directory is where i have moved this nano and added this path in windows system path okay so by doing that i can call the nano from any directory as it is in system path okay so let's see i'm moving to this drive e to demonstrate you how it works simply type in nano and that should open nano editor okay so let me type in this is just demo for nano editor for your channel okay so this is my first line and i'm going to add one more so trying to test some commands for nano okay so the first thing that i want to show you is control a so control a takes you to beginning of this line okay right so if you want to go to the first of this line you can do that you can also use up and down or arrows to go between the sentences okay and similarly you can use control e to go to end of line okay now the thing is i want to go back to line here so i use control a so remember control a is to go to the beginning of the line in your editor and control e to go to end of line so let's go there and hit enter next would be to scroll page you can use control y right it does the same operation like up and down arrows right so control y for page down control v that takes you even right now next thing would be to make use of one more command which is going to be control G which shows help but as it is not installed you can see that help is not available so for Linux and Mac this executable as you can see it doesn't contain any help file so we have to manually download and give it a path so that it can open okay so control g that opens help for windows it may not be accessible okay so keeping that aside we can also see how to save file so we use control o okay so this is the file name for this let's say i mean typing tunami underscore nano dot txt hit enter and your file is stored now okay so that's for saving the file simply use ctrl o and if it is not saved it will ask you for file name and your file will be then stored okay it will be stored in same path where you called the nano right okay then there is ctrl w where you can search for let's say 
Devnami. Hit enter. And it will take the cursor to that exact phrase or word where it matches. Then also you can use control K as it cuts. Okay. And if there is suspension is not available. That also noticed okay so as you can see if i use control z it says suspension is not enabled so we have to do that manual setting okay so after that we can also take a look at paste okay so before paste you can also see control j if it justifies okay so it doesn't actually has key set for that so i can't justify this unless i have bigger paragraph or so so for a single line it may not show the justification result okay now if i use ctrl c it should show me current cursor position and it will also tell me where exactly it is okay so after that we can also take a look at control w for initially searching that phrase and then you use control forward slash to replace okay then comes control t so let's see if it checks so by default the windows version doesn't have this control t which is meant for spell check it's not there okay then we have control underscore so let's try that so control underscore will go to specified line and column number if we specify right so currently with single sentence we don't have that much option then okay so that's not working either finally what we can do is we can use control x and it will ask me if i want to exit i'm going to say yes and save the file and it will store that now we can use typical exit to also exit from the command prompts as well so this was small demo for you to check out nano commands that you can use for your text editing.